I'm installing one of these Verso boards today. I met the uh, director, Will, cocky little prick, but um, <laughs> but passionate about the industry, which is cool, a bit like me. And um, I, I met him up at the Coventry show, and he twisted my arm in in um, buying one of these to tr to try out on one of my jobs. So I've got a bunch of AFTDs, RCBOs, a couple of MCBs because I'm doing a board where they've got like an armored cable subboard. Um, so yeah. So let's see what this is today. Let's see what this looks like, see what it feels like. Pretty fucking close to the job today. <laughs> so this job for the first time, um, because I haven't got any fucking time, I'm actually going to do the EICR and the ball change at the same time. It's very, very rare. It's been years since I've actually done that. But I haven't got any fucking time. So, ball change. <laughs> I put these blanks in yesterday because when I came there was nothing there. But I do love that. Look at that. <laughs> Someone's come to the effort of doing that. So yeah, just got to do the ball change today. And like I said earlier, it's so rare. It's been fucking years. It must be like, I don't know, fucking eight years or something since I've done an EICR and a board change uh, on the same day. Normally, 100% EICR first and then board change. Uh, but this was somebody who contacted me on Instagram. He's really sound and um, I really wanted to squeeze him in. Uh, so I've got a, a mate coming today and I'm going to do the board change and the EICR. My old apprentice, he's going to come and give me a hand so we can get it all done in one day. It's not my favourite. It is, um, there are, uh, if there are any uh, things that, deem the installation unsatisfactory that is going to be extra and will be done at another time but i'm going to try and get the bulk of it done today having a quick look around there was a couple of issues like i think there was a light hanging off and there was a spur uh loose up there so there's a couple of things that we might better fix on the day but if there's anything more i will have to come back but we can get the most of it done today now i've got the um i'm going to try these today uh it's not gifted. It's not been given to me. It's not. It's, you know, this isn't a fucking advert. I'll post. I'll put the picture of the the receipt if you don't fucking believe me. I just thought I'd give it a try. Um, uh, I've installed in my career. I've I've either worked on or installed pretty much every brand you can think of. Um, so it's only fair to give these a try when I saw them at the Elect Show. Um, the the downside for me in Bristol is that there's only one place that stocks them. So I've paid a little bit extra. My wholesalers obviously put a markup on on um, on my order because they don't stock it. So I paid a little bit more. Next time, if I get along with this, I'll I'll, I'll order it online. That doesn't so now that doesn't detract from perhaps the quality of this. I've not installed it yet, so I don't know. Um, but it is annoying that you can't just walk into any branch and pick up a fuse box. Like the fuse box is is a strong brand, isn't it? It's fucking everywhere. And whether you like it or not, it's it's everywhere and you can pick it up at almost anywhere. And that's the, brilliant because you're in the middle of a job or whatever and you forgot, oh, I need a 20 or fuck, I sh should have had a six instead of a 10 or whatever. You can go to any wholesaler. So for me, whilst it might be all right, I mean, I've yet to install it yet, I don't know. Um, it is annoying that it's not off the shelf in Bristol. Uh, so... That's already a downside, not necessarily to the product, but its availability, I suppose. So, um, but yeah, let's rip this one out and get this one on. I'm going to have to grind this c*** in a minute because uh, that is fucking dangerous. <laughs> I've caught my hands twice on that already and that one. Fucking hell. <laughs> Uh, just noticed that that armored cable that feeds the outbuilding is not uh, bonded at all. You can see that. So they put a plastic ring, <coughs> lock ring on it, obviously from a a male adapter. And then the banjo is just the banjo is there, but it's not it's not bonded at all. See, it's just it's just there. Sort that out. So, so what I'm going to do to carry out this EICR 
and board change at the same time is I'm going to get my test kit and I'm going to do all the rings now, the R1R2s now, as I put it all off. <clears throat> and I'm sure, I'm not teaching you how to suck eggs, I'm sure some of you others do do that. I think Matt does it. Because like, again, for the same reason as me, Ray, I haven't got time to like do it and then come back. Or it's always, it can be months. I think I'm booked up like three months in advance. Um, <clears throat> but I like to do it. I do like to do test first and then board change. But on this occasion, I'm doing it for the first time in like fucking eight years. Anyway, I'm going to get my test kit out. I'm going to test all the rings, R1 or 2, put all my links on, go around, test everything, um, and then get the new board on and bosh them in. And then any defects or things, I'll find, I'll, I'll write them down. I'm using EasyCert because there's fuck all Wi-Fi and a hotspot into my phone. For some reason, it doesn't fucking want to work. I don't know what it is. It's iPhone or Microsoft being wankers. So EasyCert today. Let's crack on. Important to know your leads. Look at the reading there. I'm not going to re-terminate the armored cable for the sake of re-terminating it. Whoever's done it has done a shit job, you know. They should bring that inner sheath in past this uh, thread. So. I'll put a metal lock ring on and a female bush. I'll put a brass nut and bolt in to bolt the armoured. Um, and on this occasion, I've done nut on the outside so the, so the bolt doesn't go up. Not that I don't think, I've never had a problem, but um, I've done it this way around. So it's on the outside, so there's not much of this brass sticking up, you know, just where the buzz bar is, you know. So yeah, it's only a minor little thing, but it's something. Now, I wasn't going to um, re-terminate this for the sake of re-terminating it. Um, but <laughs> I went to move it and, and put it into my new knockout. And uh, look, someone clearly either doesn't know what they're doing or lost the, lost the nut. Apparently, it was a mate of a mate who'd done this. And this is for the outbuilding supply. So that is fucking piss poor. Now I've got to get a gland for that. <coughs> so why are people so shit? Why are people so shit? What's that? What do you mean? Of course I want to work. Yeah. 
shit my shit a brick basically. Thinking, can we get to thirty five? I said to Katie, like, I don't know, it might even be out of our price range. Yeah. So we went to see the lady Nina and sit down in her office and we're like, Oh, you know, we stayed in it this last week and we're just gonna bite the bullet and do it. How much is the one we stayed in? She went, Oh, this caravan that you stayed in was I definitely would. I, I really fucking hate this. Live, neutral, live, neutral, and then AFTDs, neutral, live, neutral, live, and then back to RCPOs, live, neutral. I I hate that. Whatever the excuse is, uh, <laughs> I think that's rubbish. <laughs> uh, yeah. Aside from that, it's not, I'm not like, like, I'm not like, wow, this is amazing. What a game changer, you know? Fusebox is a hard, solid brand to beat. But it is decent. It, it is decent. There, there is lots of room. The terminals feel solid. The RCBOs and the AFTDs, they feel solid. Um, it's not amazing, but I mean, no brand is perfect, you know? So, never been a fan of filling the backs of fuse boards with intermission sealant. I think it's a stupid idea. It's shit, looks shit. It's shit for the next guy. It's horrible and messy, completely unnecessary. And whilst I love to go above and beyond, I think that's just ridiculous. Uh, the requirements. Right, finish this board, um, all done the, with the Verso. I got the fire suppression device in the back there, all labeled up. It's not a bad board, not a bad board at all. Uh, my only gripe is the whole line in neutral as it swaps between RCBO and AFTD, but that's just a minor gripe. Um, but yeah, feels solid, all done.